I would uh, shower her with love and she would give me pair of sneakers. <laughs> Works out well. I thought she was scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to throw this coffee in <laughs> your face, bro. <laughs> Welcome back to Main Street TV. Welcome back to another very, very, very much awaited closet tour. Uh, we're at the home of the wonderfully talented and uh, incredible Mr. Vijay Varma, who's hopefully going to let us in and show us around his very diverse sneaker closet. Let's, let's go check it out. Mr. Varma. Mr. Lamba. How are you doing today? Welcome. Thank you so much for having us. Can you come in? Please come in. It's good. good to see you, man. Finally. Finally. Yeah, it's good. To, I'm really excited to be doing this. I'm so, I'm so excited to be doing this. Yes, Vedu, we're doing this finally. We've, finally. Been, we've been wanting to do this for so long. Then I decided to not do it in the old house because I was looking for a new place and then I found a place. Then I made the transition. Then I got super busy with <laughs> Darling shoot, yeah. uh, Darling's promotions. Uh, his promotions. And I kept telling you, I need to set the place up, wait, give me some time. I want to invite, invite you home and do a proper like a thing. So house is halfway ready, but, but your patience ran out. So we no, no. I think well worth the wait. <laughs> I think first thing I wanted to ask you about was um, you know you mentioned a lot of times uh, you know we read about this also that your first couple of shoes were gifts from Mr. Kashyap. Yeah. Uh, aside from that, like what got you into like sneakers? Here actually, there's a story behind it. So I was cast. I was all I was locked for the role of uh, one character in Sacred Games, mm. and Raj changed his mind, and then he dumped me. <laughs> so, and then at that time he said, "I'm going to make up for it. I'm going to give you something." And then I did Gully Boy uh, in the same time, and he was like, "My loss." Uh, <laughs> and then um, then he said, "I'm going to give you something that is worth your time, and this and that." And while we were there, like, okay, so for now, I'm just going to gift you a pair of sneakers. So pick whatever you like. So I like that one pair that I'll yeah. show you now. So that was the first pair of New Balance that uh, I wore. As soon as I wore it and I walked around in Poland and I was doing my bit, I just felt so. Like, New Balance on feet feels like really like one of the most comfortable, especially 5.7.4s and 9.9.7s. Yeah. They're so comfortable on the feet. Yeah. So this is, this is the, the pair that uh, Anurag... Kashyap gifted yeah. me. Infamous sneakerhead on our channel also. Mr. Kashyap. The first pair of... This is what got me into sneakers. Yeah, this is what this, built this. This pair. It's got like reflective stuff going. It just feels awesome on feet. But this is, I think, legendary shoe that needs to be just kept. Yeah, it just needs to this be This can't be leaving the collection yeah. anytime. This is what made me an addict. For the next two years, I kept like looking for New Balance. And it wasn't really available in India, so... Every time I travel outside, if everybody, somebody, somebody's coming from outside, or I would sometimes just like chance upon something online. Mm. Uh, then I, as I mentioned to you, uh, somebody I found yeah. who used to work in New Balance yeah. Uh, yeah. in the sales or some Plug. department. Yeah. yeah. So she's this girl, and I had a little thing. Right. So she used to get me like New Balance yeah. uh, stuff. Very nice. Uh, so that was really convenient. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Chunkies. Also, you wore a fair bit. You wore for the promotions as well. We yeah. saw that. Yeah, this was like a late ac uh, acquisition, fairly late. But I again saved it for a special occasion and turned out to be. Yeah. You like the materials and the. It just looks probably the most edible sneaker. <laughs> it looks very delicious. It looks delicious, right? It looks delicious. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, one thing was pretty clear from your collection is that you absolutely love dunks. Yeah. At what point of this? Collecting journey, did you figure out that that's where your favorite is? So high tops are like uh, not not. I can't put them together all the time. Dunks are very easy to put on, easy to get off. Yeah. I don't need to like really like uh, work towards it. Yeah. And also just the comfort, especially the SB dunks. 
the way they sit and the way uh, yeah. uh, they feel and i i have been a fan of watching skateboarding videos i was never into it but i enjoyed uh, enjoyed that as a sport because also it looked very fashionable like yeah. <laughs> it's one of those you know people are those skateboarders are not out there to just do skills on skate but they're also like doing their own like statement yeah, and fashion and I, like always yeah. this is a pair i fell in love with like i couldn't believe my eyes i'm like why am i loving a sneaker which has like so much going so much going i would never like none of my sneakers have yeah. so much going right two different shoes but it's just two different experiences yeah but two it suddenly it somehow just came together beautifully yeah and this uh, paul rodriguez case uh, his i've been watching his videos for a long time uh he's an icon yeah definitely and uh and i was like man this guy is probably 10 years of work has put gone into like every single in shoe, this one yeah. one pair of sneakers so i i got a couple of them this I is one i see that doubled up so i got an 8 and 8.5 both both my sizes i love that <laughs> one to rock one to stock and even the magnus walkers dunk because it's unlike any other sb dunk Yeah. Like these SB dunks probably are the most unique SB dunks ever made. Yeah. Yeah. Cuz there's no like padding. There's none of that. There's no fat lacing. Uh there's literally none of this. Still deconstructed. Uh, it's and it's just very different materials. Yeah. Dunks happen um uh, I think the first pair in Nike uh that I had got was a dunk which was which was like the Vina. Mm. Venia, I don't mm-hmm. know how to the pronounce Vinia. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Venia. Yeah. You know the, the ugly duckling. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was the first pair I got. Yeah. I remember my friend Lisa. Yeah. She had got a pair, and I looked at her pair. I'm like, I need it. Go from us. She got that Lisa from you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I at that time I was like, what are these prices? <laughs> I'm never going to buy any of this until I saw that documentary. Yeah, last dance. That did it, bro. That, was <laughs> that documentary is lethal for. If you're if you're wanting to save money, don't watch that. <laughs> don't watch. Don't, don't watch, watch the last dance. dance. Most certainly don't. don't it made us so much money. So many sneaker prices is doubled. I just it. saw the love for sneakers by these legends, and I was like, a part of me was like, yes, I I feel you. And now, Netflix give it, and Netflix take it away. <laughs> such such as life you know yeah. one of the biggest like the the big pair that i had got early on was this one the union jordan one in chicago so beautiful uh, it's such a cute black toe. pair yeah the black toe so beautiful i also like the blue toe a lot and yeah. i'd get it let's do it uh, let's do it yeah and the, yeah, and their their the yellow laces it's and, just yeah. and the box everything just became an such a beautiful what to wear it finally now uh during darling's I was waiting for motion i was waiting for an event like an occasion to wear this one the rest i was wearing um, but yeah. this one i kind of held on to for an special occasion yeah. so i wore this for darling's release when it comes to putting together an outfit are you starting with the shoes ending with the shoes because the rest of your outfits are also i mean you know it's not like they're just whatever you you've picked pieces very carefully so this is where me and my stylist fight <laughs> so I take out like seven pairs of shoes. I'm like for the next few events, I need to wear all of these pairs. Okay, now you, I'm going to wear these seven pairs. Okay. Okay, Start you figure out you what I can wear with these. <laughs> And sometimes she's like, I can't work like this. Then I'm she's like, you bring the outfits. Don't bring any shoes. There are so many times when we did an outfit. I went for an event, yeah. and I'm wearing the shoes that she wants me to wear. Yeah. And then I come back and I wear the sneakers and I take <laughs> pictures again. <laughs> These yeah. you said were a gift. This was gifted to me by Alia after the first film. Uh, we finished shooting. Yeah. My uh, first and only pair of Gucci sneakers. Yeah. <laughs> pretty cool. I again wore it for. The you were for the dance promotions. I remember. I, when I'm by myself, when my stylist is not doing anything, then I usually like I need to. So now I need to take care of these babies. I have to like keep them in rotation for them to, a... for them to kind of be alive. Yeah. Right. So now my priority is to like wear all the shoes. Wear all the shoes. I love that. So, I so then I pick the shoe. Then like I've not worn this in like two months. Let's pull these out, and then I'll put a lot of fit together. What else uh, here is special to you? Um, I think this is also a special pair. The one you designed. This is the first. Uh, yeah, I put the colors together and I chose the texture, the leather. 
Um, so I use like a suede yeah. and leather tumble, uh, yeah. both same color, just to kind of have a little feel of it. it is and I use a bit of neon. Because clearly, of, I mean, there's I think common theme of your love for uh, this specific like neon yeah. green. Yeah, but I wanted a dash of it also because this this is like too pastely and. Yeah, and but like, it's really nice. Yeah, it's been it just, like well put together. This would do well if this came out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. We might do some VV dunk highs with, uh, <laughs> with Main Street. Let's see. Sick. Yeah, we should do we a drop of these. That being said, we'd like to jump into a little bit of a rapid fire round. Okay. Uh, you clearly have an almost unequivocal like love for all of your shoes, and it's so hard for you to choose. Hmm. Evidently, so we've put together a few rapid questions that you're gonna have to. Hit us with, okay, real quick, okay, and uh, has to be the first thing that comes to mind. All right. Your first one is your favorite sneaker. My favorite sneaker among all, um, Union Force. Nice, Union and we Force. haven't spoken about them yet. Yeah, I wore a lot of these. You can tell. Yeah, and well, that is very nice. I think this is like only pair that I can wear in any weather condition, anywhere. I can yeah. go to mud with this. It's just made to like yeah. wear. To wear. You know. Yeah, yeah. Your most expensive sneakers, the Supremes. Yeah, the Supreme. Yeah, red cement. Yeah, it's iconic shoe. Yeah, iconic. Your uh, toxic everyday beater that you just can't leave. So I'm kind of stay away from that because yeah. I want to <laughs> give all of them some free time. Yeah. But uh, so what is the one shoe you can't stop wearing? Um, it's got to be this. Yeah, you need yeah I wear them. Your favorite. Wear them a lot. What shoe here is your least favorite? Hmm. So some of like I've not worn this. Yeah. The new still. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like also like this military stuff is not my vibe. Okay. Uh, I love the sole though. It is very cool. The, the sole black is, and orange. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's Jordan Three. It probably is going to be super comfortable. Yeah. Snug. So I'm waiting for me to like. I like it. There's some of them that I don't wear or don't really particularly want right now. Yeah. But I might just grow into them. Fair enough. So right now, least favorite, but we don't know where it's heading. Favorite. What's the grail that you don't have yet? I'm not like, oh my god, I need the old Chicago ones. I'm not that guy. But I. Would... The restock's coming. So you can get yeah, one. Yeah. Uh, like I have this, so I'm good with the red, Chicago yeah. ones. I don't need the OG or whatever. I I need to have one of the Travis. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, I see. There's no Travis. I, yeah, I don't have any of the Travis. We're keen to get to the bottom of some of the other things that uh, you know make you you. Yeah. Make the rest of your collection does. Tell us about the chain. Uh, so this this little locket has been with me for like 15 years. I picked it up from Dehradun, and at that time when I picked it up, I'm like I'm gonna I need an I need to buy an SUV in life. Like I really like SUVs. Um, so I was just holding on to this this thing. I used to wear it, like hoping that I'd buy an SUV someday. Finally happened in like two years ago. Congratulations! And thank you so much. And I keep wearing this because and everybody's annoyed, like all the stylists and stuff. That like every time you're just putting on this one chain all the time. So, but I it just. What about this also on that trip? Yeah, it's the same trip, the Radun trip. It's just four icons. In one frame, and uh, it's got like a beautiful like little hologram situation going. If you can see or catch it in the camera, it's got uh, four icons by the pool table. All of which is I love. I love playing pool, and I love these icons. So our next segment is um, you know clearly your collection started with gifting, mm. and that's you know still happening every now and then on special occasions. Yeah. I'm very curious to see what you would gift some of your co-stars. I want to start with Alia Bhatt. Alia is such a right now she's really like uh, uh, going to be a mom soon, so we need to get her a very comfy pair of sneakers. I feel like the Air Max ones, okay, and the Wabi Sabi. The Wabi Sabi Air Max ones would really like go well. A with nice, Alia. Like, <laughs> right? They're I cute. Like yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like they kind of like. You know, unisex yeah, in vibe. Yeah. No, that would definitely it's got a really cool. cute smiley. It's got that nice smiley. I see that. Yeah. So it works beautifully because of the smiley. Yeah. Mr. Ranveer Singh. Ranveer Singh. He doesn't need any of it. <laughs> he He's got way too many sneakers. <laughs> um, but if I have to give, I'll give him the most flashiest one. Yeah, what the? <laughs> but he's like, he's dripping in Gucci, Gucci all the time. All the time but, but I need to break that. Like, what do we get him? 
I feel like he can like own yeah. the what the dunks. Yeah, yeah, what the, the Paul Rodriguez dunks. Yeah. Yeah. What about uh, the legend Mr. Amitabh Bachchan? Uh, he is not a high top person, so we'll get him something like super easy to wear, without even like if there are least lacing issues. Um, but it has to be an iconic pair. It has to be of an course. I- iconic pair. Mm. And he needs like a little. He needs a little shine on his pair. He's got, <laughs> he's got the bling going. I would totally imagine him in this. He's, he's got that. Hoodie and a track pant vibe course, going about yeah, himself. With the so, fearless yeah, I UNC. guess the, the I patent Jordan yeah. ones. Fearless. And though probably the only high top. UNC to <laughs> Chicago. Beautiful shoes. <laughs> Next one is a little bit interesting. It's in Nawaz Din Siddiqui. Nawaz, bhai. I think I'd just give him uh, yeah. a slide. Yeah, because cool slides. Cool slides. <laughs> right up his alley. Next up, another landmark moment. In your life, yeah, career. Feb 22, 2019, Mumbai. This is handwritten note by uh, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, uh, congratulating me for the work I did in uh, Gully Boy. And uh, it was an emotional moment. This is a boy who came from nowhere with a dream to become an actor and and to get a letter. I have worked with him in Pink, which is mentioned in the in the notes. I observed you in Pink. I have loved it for you in Gully Boy. So I remember there was like a little smudge there at C. If you can see this word C, this letter, because I when I read it I had a tear drop fall on it, <laughs> and then I just like carefully it's an ink pen, so it's and like the, a stamp approval by Mr. Bachchan. And the the petals around in the frame. So these petals uh, were part of the bouquet that he sent, so, and I kept it for two years with me or three years, and then when I decided to frame it, I. Left some of the petals on the on the frame as a memory of what he sent. Awesome. Yeah. And how's life otherwise? Life has been good, man. I've had a fairly uh, good run with Darlings, and now I'm excited about starting my next. We don't know. We can't speak about it, but I've started my prep, which means a lot of like having discipline and working out and eating right and sleeping enough and all of these things so i'm gone back to workshop stage now trying to learn how to act <laughs> but uh, thank you thank you thank so much you so for much. having us here this is so nice to be like in your space and be allowed in and welcomed in so warmly thank you man uh, we really glad to be able to tell these stories you're always welcome man whenever you want to come just come i love what you're doing i love the culture that you are promoting and awesome. you've been spreading it here in bombay and a lot of people are like looking up to you and, and getting ideas of how to crack uh, you know their scene and how to be a part of this culture so, awesome but so good stuff man. but yeah i think with that we're at the end of this video thank you again thank you so much this we take your leave This is so fun. I'm so glad to be doing this. All right, but I know it's good. Shorter than this, Papa. All right.